is just another engin engineering discipline, but it also has some uh, interesting advantages. One advantage is we have extremely complex, beautifully uh, debugged systems because they've been de debugged over billions of years over, you know, uh, uh, many orders of magnitude of, of land and, and air and, and liquid. Um, we inherit that. So that's one thing advantage. The other advantage is we can redo some of that. We can do evolution in the lab, but we can do evolution kind of on steroids uh, where, we, where we can accelerate evolution. So we have that. Plus we have all the advantages from all the engineer, other engineering disciplines like computer-aided design. So all these things combine to make something that's highly accelerated. But we have a fourth thing, which is extremely uh, important and maybe not obvious, is that we, is that we want to atomic, we, want, we, we, we would like to be able to do atomically precise engineering if it's free. And, and basically biology basically does that. It, it, uh, almost everything it does is capable of being atomically precise. Almost every molecule it's made is the same as every other molecule of that type. Um, and, that, and it does it at scale, so you can make things the size of a giant redwood or the size of an entire ecosystem, wow. um, and basically for free. That forest didn't really cost us anything to, uh, to build. So atomically precise, at scale, billions of years evolution, and wow. ability to evolve on our own. So instead of making a prototype in any other field of engineering, like a, a prototype for a bridge or a cell phone, where you really put a lot of energy into one prototype. Mm. Here you can make a trillion prototypes and let evolutionary processes pick the best one. You just have to be clever about setting up the accelerated evolution. So this is Interesting. the amazing uh, capability of, of uh, biology, including materials. And it's not just biologically inspired materials where you can make atomically precise versions of things that are normally imprecise. Um, you know, like instead of making mortar, um, we can make a shell you know, with all its intricate patterns on it. So the mortar is just kind of like blob of stuff that you smooth out. Um, but we can also make biology make things that you normally don't think are biological, right? Not, not shells, but, th but like shells made out of inorganic materials. So we should be able, literally everything we can make, metals, semiconductors, all of that, we know how to make those with biology. We know how biology can make metals, it can make, it can make, um, refractive index gradient, optical fibers, it can, it, it, it can make thinking machines. Uh, in fact, some of the best supercomputers in the world are, are biologically manufactured. So I, I think that nothing that is currently manufactured without biology is safe <laughs> from, from uh, disruption and revolution.